booster is now on internal power. In just about 10 seconds, we will see retraction of the first umbilical, and these are the towers that are buttressed up against the upper stage of the rocket. And there we have retraction of the first umbilical. The second umbilical will retract in about 13 seconds, and this will initiate engine start sequence. We are 15 seconds away from launch. Second umbilical has retracted and the engine sequence has started. Engines are coming up to full throttle. And liftoff of the 86 Progress resupply vehicle for its 34 orbit journey to the International Space Station. stage are operating as expected. Booster systems are also operating as expected. These structural parameters of the vehicle are normal. The vehicle continues to be stable. continues to be stable and we are about a minute away from first stage shutdown and separation. Roll pitch and yaw of the vehicle are normal. We are a minute and 20 seconds into the flight and everything is proceeding as expected. Engines of the first stage continue to operate as expected. We are standing by for first stage shutdown and separation. We have confirmation of first stage shutdown and separation. The vehicle is currently traveling 4,500 miles per hour and 29 miles in altitude, 29 miles downrange from the Cosmodrome. The vehicle continues to be stable and all structural parameters are normal. We are about 20 seconds away from launch shroud jettison. The engines in the second stage are operating as expected. We have confirmation that the launch shroud successfully jettisoned. The second stage engine continues to operate as expected. In about one minute, we will see second stage shutdown, followed shortly thereafter by second stage separation and third stage skirt jettison. We are now four minutes into today's flight and everything continues to proceed as expected.
we have confirmation of a second stage shutdown. The vehicle continues to be stable and is proceeding as expected. We have confirmation of second stage separation. We will see third stage skirt jettison shortly. We are five minutes and 45 seconds into today's flight and everything continues to proceed as expected and the third stage engine is operating as expected. In just under three minutes, we will see third stage shutdown and orbital insertion followed shortly thereafter by spacecraft separation. The vehicle continues to perform as expected. It is traveling approximately 11,000 miles per hour at an altitude of 118 miles and is 527 miles downrange from the Cosmodrome. We are about two minutes away from third stage shutdown and orbital insertion, everything continuing to proceed as planned. We are about seven minutes and 45 seconds into today's flight and the structural per parameters on the vehicle are normal and the vehicle is stable. We are just under a minute away from third stage shutdown and orbital insertion followed by spacecraft separation. At the time of separation, flight control will be transferred to the team at the Russian Mission Control Center outside of Moscow. We have confirmation of third stage shutdown and orbital insertion. And we have confirmation of spacecraft separation. Progress is now in its preliminary orbit, traveling at approximately 17,500 miles per hour at a preliminary altitude of 125 statute miles. The solar rays and navigation antennas are now deployed and we're standing by for a test of the external television camera.
Liftoff of the Soyuz rocket carrying the Progress 86 spacecraft occurred on time at 3.25 and 11 seconds a.m. Central, 4.25 and 11 seconds a.m. Eastern, which was 2.25 and 11 seconds p.m. in Baikonur from Launch Pad 6, Site 31 at the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. All three stages operated as expected during an 8-minute, 45-second ride to place Progress in its preliminary orbit where it is now. The Progress spacecraft will now begin a two-day, 34-orbit chase to arrive at the International Space Station Poisk module with docking scheduled for Sunday, December 3rd at 5.14 a.m. Central, 6.14 a.m. Eastern. You can join us for live coverage of Progress's automated rendezvous and docking to International Space Station's Poisk module starting at 4.30 a.m. Central, 5.30 a.m. Eastern on Sunday, December 3rd. Until then, this is Mission Control Houston.